What is the hair transplant recovery process like? Do you want to know how you can return to work just a day after your hair transplant surgery? Here are three quick tips to help you to return to your normal daily life as fast as possible. First, you should opt for an FUE procedure as it offers the quickest recovery. Second, you should ask your doctor for a steroid tablet to prevent any swelling after the surgery. And third, you should drink at least 3 litres of water to flush out the anaesthetic as quickly as possible. Hi, I'm Janos from Hair Palace Hair Clinic and as a patient coordinator I have accompanied the treatment of more than 1500 patients in the past 5 years. In this video, I'll walk you through the recovery after FUE hair transplants and tell you how you can achieve the best results. FUE hair restoration is an outpatient procedure, so you will leave the clinic after the surgery. While your recovery will be quick, you must always follow your doctor's post-op instructions to ensure optimal regrowth. First, let's see what you can expect right after the procedure is finished. Once the local anesthetic wears off, your scalp might feel a bit tight or sore. This typically lasts a few hours and can be managed with painkillers if needed. At the end of the first day, you should remove your bandages and get a good night's sleep. You can also expect redness, minor swelling, crusts and itching in the first few days. However, you must not scratch or touch your scalp. Your new hairs will be vulnerable and can get damaged easily if you're not careful enough. Your clinic will also ask you to start using a saline spray regularly. It will keep the implanted area clean and speed up the recovery. Don't wash your hair, use only the sterile solution provided during the first week. Around day 2 to day 4, you can return to work and more or less carry on with your usual daily routine. There will be a few exceptions though. You shouldn't wear hats, caps, or a headscarf for at least three weeks. Headwear can cause friction on the scalp, which may damage your newly implanted hair follicles. You should also avoid any hard physical exercise for three weeks. The high blood pressure and excessive sweating that comes with exercising can cause unwanted complications. Plus, the increased moisture on the scalp may create an ideal environment for microbial growth and infection. At the end of the first week, you have to start washing your hair gently in clear, preferably lukewarm water. A good soak and a gentle scalp massage will help remove the scabs from the implanted area. By the end of the second post up week, your scalp must be completely free of scabs. Three weeks after your procedure, you can return to your regular hair care routine and wash your hair as you did before the hair transplant. But more importantly, this is when you will notice that the implanted hairs start to fall out. Though it's scary, it is a normal part of the recovery after hair transplants. Typically, three months after your FUE hair transplant, new hair growth will start. The regrowth will be gradual, at first fine hairs will appear and they will become thicker and longer as time goes by. You will likely notice visible improvement in density around 6 months after the hair transplant. It won't be the full result just yet. Your hair should continue to thicken at a nice rate in the next months. 12 to 15 months after the FUE treatment, the result will be complete. All the hair has had the time to grow out and the result should be dense and natural. Boldness is just a distant memory at this point. In reality, your hair may not stick to this exact timeline. Hair growth rates differ from person to person, so the new hairs can appear a bit earlier or a bit later too. If you are struggling with hair loss and want to know more about the available treatments and hair transplants, visit hairpalace.co.uk or reach out to our team. How is your recovery coming along? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video.